welcome back to my channel so this weekend i am going to go to denver for my birthday i'm going to be flying spirit for not spirit why did i say spirit frontier for the first time so i'll let y'all know how that goes that we got here and red flag number one there's nobody at the frontier counter it don't even have a label look at it we were so confused on where it was so yeah so deep breath it's gonna be fun I got these travel backpacks from Shein and they're actually really sturdy like a lot more sturdy than I thought they would be since it's just a weekend trip and we're trying to do like the cheap flight thing we're doing one checked bag and then we each have a backpack um let's go check it see if it fits in the little personal item measuring thing it needs to fit in there okay it fits okay very so small. The frontier people were pretty nice. We got checked in pretty seamlessly. We only had one checked bag and the backpack. And uh, they do make you stuff it in that little personal size thing like I was showing you all um, to verify that it is the right size. Um, now we're just getting something to eat real quick and then we are going to go and board. We have maybe about 30 minutes before the flight starts boarding. this travel hack on TikTok where you, instead of taking an Uber from the airport, you take the shuttle to a rental car place and then take an Uber. So to take an Uber from the airport is $45 right now. So I'm gonna take an Avis shuttle to the rental car place and see what the price is for. So it is $10 cheaper from the rental car place on the free shuttle versus getting picked up at the airport so i don't know if it's worth saving ten dollars to get on a shuttle but i guess it's a good it's a good hack if you're on a budget especially if to do this at night i probably wouldn't do this at night but in the daytime i would be fine with it One of the things that I do like about the True by Hilton is how cozy the lobby area is. Like, look at the little fireplace in the background. So, we're getting ready to go walk around and explore a little bit of downtown Denver a little bit. And it's kind of no plan, just winging it. So, because we have no plan today and we're just wandering around, we decided to just get off the bus to go to Union Station. It's a historic landmark. So we'll see what that looks like. And also the bus is free. I didn't know that the bus is free. I thought you had to pay like anything. You have to pay anything. It is so pretty, but it is so cold. So we are walking to Union Station. It is just so cold. looking all super old and rustic but it's so cold I'm just like I want to go get a coffee that's what I'm gonna do a coffee or a tea or something it literally looks like in the movies oh, cool. decided that we're gonna check out the terminal bar it's inside of Union Station we scrapped that coffee idea or maybe they have coffee at the bar it just gives like such old timey vibes. I love it in here. So to go with the dreamy feel and the old school feel of Union Station, we're getting old fashioned. 
and shots of bourbon even though i don't think we need shots of bourbon but we will be having them I can't believe it's actually snowing today. This is just kind of ridiculous. It said it was gonna be warm. It lied to me. Can y'all see it? It's just like sleeting right now. Not full on heavy snow, but <sighs> at least some drinks got me feeling warm. So there's that. We are going to go back on the free mall ride and it takes you to city hall so we're just going to stay on until the last stop and then get off and see if we could do like a tour of city hall if it's open to the public it should be the guy at the information center was very very helpful he was really nice and uh, he recommended we do that and he said that the museums are really close by if we wanted to check out the museums so now we're walking to the capitol and you can see all the ice in my hair and stuff. But we outside, we just cold. So we are late and we missed the last capital tour. So they just gave us kind of like a guidebook and we can kind of do our own tour. We could just walk around and look around inside. Um, I am so cold, it's ridiculous. It's an interesting looking quilt. architecture definitely is really pretty that's for sure how fancy is this interesting that you can come in here and see like the lawmakers at work they're like discussing bills and amendments and stuff that's kind of cool very interesting able to catch up to the tour so we are going to climb the dome it looks like we're almost to the end of the tour just because they forget so please be aware of that now whoever would like the lady didn't let us climb to the top of the dome with her because we didn't sign up i'm assuming they probably need a waiver so so sad but now we're going to try to see if we can figure out how to get to the denver art museum look our snow going why this can't be right this is just so ridiculous so we've made it to the denver art museum we're gonna head inside see if we can look at some cool stuff i am cold
happy birthday to me in the snow. It's not really what I signed up for, but I'm cold. I need a hat. I need all kinds of stuff. I need a gloves, pair of gloves. I need everything. I'm not prepared. We finished the night by heading to dinner at this restaurant that was close to the hotel called Corinne. I got a mule and we tried the cauliflower bites, which were delicious. And I ended up getting a cob salad for dinner. Everything in there was really good. The ambiance was great. Beautiful place to try. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.